Right YouTube, I've uh, just finished making uh, a Slim Jim dual band for 2 metres and 70 cm. It's uh, 4 foot 2 length and uh, the original plans didn't involve a choke uh, but I had some problems with SWR and someone says 5 turns of uh, 0.25 metre and that seems to have done the trick. I'm yet to uh, isolate the uh, block connector um, but I might be swapping it for some sort of other connector not sure yet so the aerial consists of this tiny bit here 35 millimeters long uh, joined onto the first bit the center coax is exposed um, bit of the outer braid install left on there and then the top part is uh, exposed and I've just brutally put on there with an elastic band a keyring um, eyelet whatever it's called just so I can hang it up at the moment excuse the testing on the well video on the kitchen floor but it's uh, the only place sort of bright enough to do this video uh, the plans I found online, um, there's loads of Slim Jims using uh, the ladder cable you get. Um, but I had um, RG58 at a hand and um, RG58 is recommended for this, uh, but not really recommended for anything else. The reason I wanted the dual band antenna like this was portable, so I could literally roll it up and put it in my bag with my handset. The handset I use, obviously, dual band, Baofeng UV5R, got the extended battery and the mic, fist mic, speaker mic. Um, so I can use it for 2 meters, 70 cm, so I don't often use, and uh, the PMR channels, 446. And before I put the choke on, I had some RF problems, as I said, with a uh, with 70 cm, uh, the top part of the band um, was causing a problem, which is strange because the PMR channels were fine. Uh, so uh, I've put that on, and it seems to have uh, been about 80% improvement. Uh, but the two meters is absolutely spot on, and the idea with this is I can take it out portable, sling it up a tree, or I can put it on the pole. And I normally have um, a PMR dipole on the pole. Um, so I'll be trying this out next time I'm out. Next week sometime. It's Friday now, it's chucking it down with rain. So I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but as soon as I plugged it in in the house, I could pick up uh, uh, some guy in a few towns away. Uh, I've forgotten his call sign on two meters calling out. Uh, which I, I can't normally hear anything in the house with the rubber duck on my handset. So I'll put some photos up after this from the plans and then uh, I'll put a link in the description to take you to the page where, where I found the plans for this antenna. It's um, like I said four foot two, very compact, very portable. I'll just uh, wind it up now and show you. There you go, it will actually fit in my pocket. Uh, that's with obviously the antenna and a length for coax to go to the radio so uh, it can be used portable backpacking um, you know if you need a small antenna to take out if you're working anywhere you want to go on holiday the problem I had a few weeks ago on holiday was I had no room for the radio gear so I had to go away for four days with uh, no radios which is a bit of a shame the car was jam-packed with the uh, camping stuff and, and the kids stuff and uh, something like that would have done me perfectly because I just hung that up on the campsite in a tree um, as you can see dual band antenna and dual band radio does not take up a lot of room that fit in a stuff sack or in your pocket and the radio is self explanatory for carrying I've got a radio go bag uh, for a CB radio and DX in and the antenna fits in the bag with a 12 volt 7.5 amp battery and uh, now the 2 meter 
while the jawband radio and this antenna will fit in the bag also. Right, so there you go. I'll quickly put up some photos now uh, of the plans I had. Uh, I've got a handful of leftover parts. It's quite cool taking the braiding off. It was like skinning a snake. Um, no heat shrink. Just used um, some electrical tape to seal up where I've took away the outer braiding and uh, coax. Um, right. Thanks for watching. It's Mike Six, Charlie Tango Papa.